Rider was in LA. We recorded that song that day, helped him with the verses, did the whole thing, wrapped up the deal in about a week. And that following week, it was on the radio. That's how it can happen sometimes if you have the right idea. And still to this day, it holds the record for the most downloads in one week, 636,000. Wow. good. Along those lines, I just have a quick question. Like when those ideas come into your head, um, what, and, but then you're like, oh, but that's somebody else's song. Um, mm. it, does it ever block your creativity and be like, oh. You know, you know what, that's a good question. Um, it, in rap music, it's a, lot more, it's a lot more accepted than it is in like, if Bruno were to cover a song. You know what I mean? Like a lot of times in rap music, that cover is what brings people to that artist, especially somebody like Flo Rida. Like I think every one of his hits has been a remake of a song. So <laughs> it's, okay, I was kind of so, so you know what I mean? So I, at the time, and then this is also what I learned, because that's a very good question, because whenever you, you remake a song, you have to pay them to pay that original song whatever the publishing is. And on that particular, let me tell you, this, tell you how this business works, give you a little insight. Me and Bruno were probably, with the exception, of course, of the, of the hook, 80, 90% of the rest of the song. And then we changed the lyrics to the chorus itself, too. Because um, the other one's like a record, baby, like a record. And we was like, when you go down, do a little more, you know, that way with it. <laughs> so here's how it works. Yeah. <laughs> It's a new age. <laughs> that original song had six writers on it, okay? They took 70% of the publishing of that song. All right, this is where egos come into play. The producer was Dr. Luke. He had a string of number one hits. We, for all intents and purposes, should have just been happy to be on a song with him, you know? There's Dr. Luke. There's Flo Rida, who had already had a hit with um, Rap on Bottom Jeans, Boop with the Fur. That, remember that song? What was it called? Love. Love. He yeah, already had a hit with that. So, and then, then Dr. Luke had a friend of his help him produce that song. So already, me and Bruno, the guys who did 90% of the work, whose idea it was to do the song, are the lowest guys in the totem pole. So I owned 2.5% of that song, 2.5. So that shows you what the business really is because we were kicking and screaming like, are you? <laughs> Just, we did this, you know what I mean? But the hierarchy, you know what I mean? The label was like, I, what am I gonna tell Dr. Lou? He's got, what have you done? This is your first thing, you should just be happy to get on. So, after a couple sleepless nights, that's how I felt. It's like, you know what? This is gonna be a hit. I'm on a hit. I'm happy to be on a hit. I'm thankful that I know how it came to be, so I know what my potential is. I know what I can do. I'll do it again. So this, that was the introduction of, man, okay. Not only A, can we do it, but B, this business can suck sometimes. <laughs> but that was the first, to answer your question, that was the first time I heard on the radio. <laughs>